Uh, this is an evolutionary design of our YC Engine drivetrain that we've been developing now for uh, just over a decade. The future engine that got rid of the crankshaft. Did you know that the basic mechanism powering your car today hasn't really changed for over a century? While the world is racing towards electric vehicles, one engineer decided to completely reinvent the internal combustion engine, asking, how can an engine get rid of its most important parts, the crankshaft and the connecting rod, to become more efficient, lighter, and structurally simpler? What's the secret behind a design that solves the biggest chronic problem in traditional engines? Could this engine, called the WI engine, actually change the future of hybrid cars and compete with electrics? The old problem is the source of power and its inertia. To understand the importance of the WI engine, we have to go back to the core issue it's trying to solve. The current internal combustion engine relies on the piston moving up and down inside the cylinder. To turn this linear motion into a rotational motion capable of spinning the wheels, engineers have relied on the same solution since the very beginning. The crankshaft, connected to the piston by the connecting rod. This solution is the root of all the trouble. The killer friction is that the connecting rod moves in an arc which pushes the piston sideways against the cylinder wall. This side loading creates massive amounts of friction, heat, and wear, which wastes efficiency and shortens the engine's life. This is the main reason we need constant oiling and replacement of rings and other parts. Then there's the weight and complexity. The crankshaft itself is a super heavy and complicated mechanical piece. It adds huge mass to the engine and limits its speed and operating efficiency. More moving parts always mean more chances of failure. Most people just accepted these flaws as the fixed price of generating power. But Gary Weedy, the inventor of this engine, refused to see this system as the end of the line. He asked the radical question, can we convert the piston's straight motion into rotation without all that weight, friction, and wasted energy? The answer Gary Weedy came up with was simple but genius. Instead of a crankshaft and connecting rod, he used a large eccentric disc mounted on a main shaft. In his design, the pistons push directly onto the edge of this disc. When the combustion force pushes the piston forward, it presses on the disc, causing it to rotate, and this rotation transfers directly to the main shaft. The result? The exact same rotational force, but without the parts that caused all the old problems. This design delivers immediate and crucial benefits. First, it eliminates side loading. With no connecting rods or angled crank lobes, the pistons move perfectly parallel and straight, which completely eliminates the sideways push against the cylinder walls. This removes one of the biggest sources of friction and wear in any traditional engine. Second, the weight and simplicity. The heavy crankshaft is gone, replaced by a simpler, lighter rotating assembly. Far fewer parts mean less weight, less inertia, and fewer potential failures. The amazing part is that this isn't just some theory. Weedy built a working prototype using off-the-shelf components from Honda engines, proving that this design can actually be adapted to current manufacturing methods, which has actually attracted the attention of big companies like Honda, Ford, and even some Chinese firms. A deep dive into the WI engine. The WI engine prototype is a flat twin, horizontally opposed engine where two pistons face each other, ensuring excellent balance and very little vibration. But the mechanism here is unique. Instead of pushing on a shaft, the pistons press onto a massive bearing ring that surrounds the eccentric disc. This ring doesn't spin with the disc, but instead it slides on its surface, which distributes the load evenly and increases durability. Friction, the number one enemy of efficiency, was Weedy's main target. To solve the drag problem between the pistons and the bearing ring, he modified the contact surfaces to create a hydrodynamic wedge, a self-sustaining film of oil that separates the metal under high pressure. The result is smooth sliding, with lubrication efficiencies similar to the best high-performance crank axles. The performance and application. Why is this a game-changer? 
The benefits of the WI engine stack up fast. Lightness, low complexity, and internal friction reduced to a fraction of traditional engines. Less friction means less wasted energy, which improves fuel efficiency and overall performance. Power in a small package. The prototype weighs about 175 pounds, and with a 1.2 liter displacement, it's capable of spinning at over 10,000 RPM and is estimated to put out 80 horsepower. That's stunning for just a proof of concept. Practical manufacturing. Using ready-made Honda components makes it a strong candidate for commercial adoption without needing a full factory retooling, which has actually attracted the attention of big companies like Honda, Ford, and even some Chinese firms. The ideal range extender. Gary Weedy sees the most important role for his engine in hybrid car systems as a range extender. This small, light, and efficient generator can charge an electric vehicle's battery on long trips, providing much greater range without the burden of huge, heavy battery packs. Its simplicity and balance also make it perfect for specialized vehicles, light aircraft, and alternative fuel uses like hydrogen. Challenges and Future Prospects Despite its potential, the WI engine faces major hurdles before it hits the market. Testing and Compliance the project requires extensive dynamometer testing to verify actual performance, efficiency, and, most importantly, compliance with global emissions and noise standards. Durability and production. Its long-term durability under daily use conditions must be proven before it can be mass-produced, and that needs serious funding. Gary Weedy's project isn't just an engineering attempt. It's a challenge to the idea that the internal combustion engine has reached its end. It offers a third path between traditional engines and all-electric vehicles. In a world where EVs are grabbing all the headlines, this engine shows that innovation can keep small, clean combustion engines a part of the future, specifically in hybrid systems. It proves that progress doesn't always mean replacement. Sometimes it means reimagining what we already have and making it smarter and better. Honestly, after looking into it, I really respect what Gary Way is doing. He's not just trying to fight the electric revolution. He's trying to make combustion engines smarter, cleaner, and simpler. Getting rid of the crankshaft isn't just a cool idea. It's a real engineering breakthrough that could actually make small engines lighter and more efficient. Now, yeah, this thing still has a long road ahead. It needs more tests, more funding, and a lot of work before it can hit the market. But if it works as promised, it could be the perfect bridge between gasoline and electric, a new kind of hybrid that gives us the best of both worlds. To me, that's the real value here. It's not about replacing electric cars. It's about proving that innovation can still come from one person with a new idea and the guts to try something different. What do you think? Could this kind of engine really have a place in the future? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories like this one.